Hello and welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you this vacuum cleaner, DBOT X1. 15 function in one, so basically the usual hoovering, it will empty itself into a tank where you can pick out the bag and empty it every so often. It does mop the floor and it's not just dragging a piece of cloth behind like most of the budget robot. This one actually scrub the floor for you and at the same time you don't need to worry about having to wash the mop every time because once it docks into the station it has a mechanism where self-cleaning. What it means is actually cleans the mop head, extract the dirty water and all you need to do is change the dirty water from the tank and add more water. My video is not scripted so hopefully I can show you what your money can buy and you be the judge of how good or how bad this is. This is humongous. This is the biggest yet I have seen a robot in a box like this. And it's heavy as well. I won't go through the specs with you, but I will put up on the screen kind of a flashcard kind of thing of what the key feature of this robot. Again, I even open this. I don't know about you, but I'm super excited because I have reviewed quite a few different robots and this is the first time that I have seen a robot where it actually cleans the mop head. Okay, once you open the top lid, it actually have some instructions on how to unbox the machine itself so you don't kind of um, drop it by accident. Actual Hoover body in a square box. So it comes like uh, with foam padding. So it's nice and secure. And check out this big station. I mean, check this out. Have you seen a robot docking station this big before? I mean, this is a first for everything, I guess. When you open the top lid, it gives you all the information that you need, how to run the machine, including QR code for the app. And so far, I am quite impressed with the build quality. There is no, absolutely no wobble or rattle at all. Some of you might be thinking, hmm, it's a lot of money for a robot vacuum cleaner. But to be honest with you, it is a lot of money. If it does what it says on um, the box, then I think it's well worth it. The packaging so far, 10 out of 10, absolutely well protected. There's no dent on the form or dent on the box. Everything is perfect. So well done on, so well done on the packaging. And this is what different between this robot and some others on the market. Um, most of the other is just a piece of cloth um, wiping on the floor. This one actually is a spinning, scrubbing action. And coincidentally, they give you some extra and it's actually stored inside the unit right here. So all together, you got four of this circular mop head. I'm in the UK, so you got a three pin um, plug. You got your left and right, which is color coded, red and green, um, sweeping brushes, a thick instruction booklet, and this little brush is for cleaning your rubbish tank or the machine itself. Um, the usual blade cutter here for detangling all the hair which gets stuck in the roller. You have one vacuum bag here. Since they charge so much money, I think it's only right to have 10 out of 10 for packaging. So well done. Um, the DBOT X1 robot is in this bag. This is the robot with pack full of innovation and technology of 2022. On the bottom of the machine, you've got the usual slot where the roller, one, two, three, four sensors here. So those are the sensors which stop it from falling off the cliff. You've got your um, directional wheels here. Main drive wheels from these two wheels here. And they opt for the half rubber, half Bristol um, dust roller. On the top here, you got your um, 360 um, room scanning and the top actually comes off and this is made of plastic. And it's just holding on to the robot with magnets. Once you take off the top, you've got your power switch right here and then you can access your um, dust tank from here. So that is if you want to manually empty your dust tank, you take it out and then you empty it. At the base station, there is little pot on the left hand side of the machine 
and they use a very strong suction to suck out all the dust from a small tank into the bigger tank. The design of this is so slick, I tell you this. There's a hidden button at the bottom here where the opening is. So when you push it up, it's just like opening a car boot. You press it, the drawers come out. And this is where the um, vacuum bag is. So they give you an extra one in the box and there's another one which is in store right here. And again, very similar design. You've got a dust pot that you can actually cap out when you pull it out from the location. And all it does is slot into the side of the drawer. And then you push it back in. Fantastic, love the idea. On top here is where the magic happens. So you've got two tanks, one is the dirty water tank is actually say dirty water on the handle right here. And the color is kind of a um, smoky color glass. And then you have a blue tank. And the blue tank is where you put clean water and fill it up, but put it into the station. So for 1,200 pounds, you get the state of the art machine. You've got the state of the art um, station. And then you've got the fuel mop heads one spare bag and the cable. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set it up where I will have it stationed for this testing purpose. Um, mop and clean the floor once and I can show you um, the machine in action. Okay, when you scan the QR code and download the uh, Ecovacs home, uh, you get the choice of choosing your region and language. Like any other robot hoover on the market, you need to register and get yourself a um, login. And then you get to name your home. I'm just going to use the default for now. And you've got different um, option here. And we have the X one, so I'm going to choose that. Make sure you give them the access for your Wi-Fi. And at the same time, I'm going to put this on the floor. And I'm going to make sure the power is on. Okay, so ready for network setup. That's what the sound you want to hear. I mean, I'm not a big fan of that rope. I'm not a big fan of that robot's voice, and I think the speaker kind of distorts a little bit. Um, that's the only letdown so far. I mean, I am paying a lot of money for this machine, so the packaging was 10 out of 10. Um, the build quality, I think, is out 10 out of 10. The app so far, mm, it's taking a bit long, but so far, all the instruction is quite easy to follow, and you got a voice command for you as well. So I think the the easy to use slide, I think at the moment is eight out of ten. I lose a few marks on um, the robot voice and the distorted speaker. Okay, so that took a bit longer than I expected because it kept coming up as connection failed. Um, after a while, I read the troubleshooting and I turn off my phone mobile reception 4G and then just allowed Wi-Fi on the phone and then it managed to connect, but that took me 15 minutes. So I'm not impressed. Um, for, um, for that reason, I think the, you, um, the user experience just dropped a little bit. So I think now I'm going to give it 6 out of 10. But let's continue with this. So you can name your robot. I'm just going to name it by default. So you already have all this feature here, like water level, quiet, standard. So this is the vacuum power setting and um, water. So you can control how much water goes into the mop. Uh, smart cleaning, cleaning schedule, we're going to go into all that in a minute. Void assistant, I turn it off, and in fact, volume, I'm going to turn it right down. Yeah, I don't need that loud, so. And you can send the schedule, how to clean, clean it once, clean it twice, auto, custom, loads of different functions as per any other app. And now he's scanning the room here. I now I'm going to come back when he finished scanning. This robot is also a CCTV. So now he's actually recording. I can, like, I'm just kind of waving at myself right here. Obviously the camera is quite low down, but you can see underneath my table right here. 
And this actually is magnetic, so there's not really hinge or any plastic clip. All you need to do is just put it on and that's it. The magnet actually holds it down. And this, to vacuum and mopping mode. So now it will vacuum and mop at the same time. And these two here spin. And I'm going to fill this up with clean water. Okay, so clean water right here, and it's quite a lot. So clean water going in. Close the lid. I have a um, patch of um, water and starch, cornstarch right here. So you've got powder and some white liquid. Got a bit of food over there. Got some plastic wrapping over there. And underneath the table, um, as usual, we have some um, food debris left behind under the table. And um, yeah, so this will be a good test to see how the Hoover will do. Okay, so I'm just going to press smart cleaning. Do I have pets? No, I don't have pets. Auto. So he's saying that please make sure you have sufficient water. So they are actually using the water that I left in the tank to wash the mop head first. So there's no need to pre-wet the mop like the other machine that I have tested last week. You can see that they are washing the mop head at the moment. Things done. Okay, now it's going under the table. So we managed to fit between the two chairs. So this so this is not the easiest part to navigate, and actually a few robots fail to come back out and then um, they make the announcement to say please come and free me but so far this one is okay it's great that it can go underneath because there's always some food that got dropped to the bottom of the table but well, i'm glad to say that it passed the table test it managed to navigate its uh, way out of the table in between the legs that it can squeeze through yeah even though the robot is out of this room at the moment in the corridor right over there you can still see what it is doing this is pretty clear it's pretty amazing so it's coming back now Let me turn it off. So right now it is cleaning the room in your um, defined order. So this is not random. This is actually up and down of the room. And now it's going to clean this patch. Okay, it looks like the roller kind of, um, you can see the swirl kind of a mark. There we go, so you can see the scrub, scrubbing mark. This is not bad. This is not bad. For that two round disc. Not a hundred percent come off, but if you have set, if you have set the robot to do more than one pass, then even spillage, it will be able to clean.
So what it's doing right now is uh, the loud noise is to suck out all the dust from the dust compartment into the dust bag and it also wash the mop head so just now it cleans the um, so just now it cleans all the starch water so the mop is saturated with those white powder but what it does is cleaning it and it also dries it so it doesn't um, have a wet mop head which kind of um, built up a bacteria and all that it starts to stink this one actually you use heat to dry up the mop head as well So now it quiet down, let's have a look and see what it actually did once it docked into the station. Um, open the lid and you have your dirty water tank. Let's have a look. So here, my dirty water. So this is mostly starch because I did a starch patch test in there. And you can see how much water they use for the cleaning of the room and this side is your clean water tank hardly use any at all it's quite hard to show you the um, the dust side of thing because as soon as it goes in it kind of emptied out into this big tank here but in terms of the room overall I give it 7 out of 10, maybe 8 out of 10 for that one single pass. All the food underneath my table there is gone, which is great. And um, the floor wise, a little bit of white starch left. So one pass is not enough to clean up a spillage. But overall, I still see a bit and pieces there. So they must have missed picking up something. And um, the suction is sent to, um, it's all automatic, so um, I'm going to change the setting and do this again as a deep clean. So after um, every clean, you can go back to the app and look at the history. So the Hoover treat my room as two separate. So you've got the corridor over there as room two, and then you got this main section here, room one. Um, all the kind of a circle thing was because of the table and the dining chair. You can actually tell there is one, two, three, four, five, six circle here because of the four chairs and the table leak. Now, if you have time to mess around with the software, you can actually add stuff to the 3D map. So this is a 3D version of my kitchen and you got the station over there in the corner, my table and chair. So you actually detects table and chair and put it there. So what you can do is you can ask the robot to clean once or clean twice. I really want a deep clean, so I'm going to press twice. Uh, vacuum power, uh, standard max. So this is now everyone is sleeping upstairs. I'm going to turn on the max. Not max plus, but max. Uh, water flow level, I'm going to keep it to medium. I think that is perfectly fine. Um, mopping mode, I'm going to do a deep clean so it kind of more frequent rather than uh, missing out bits and pieces uh, mop only i'm going to hoover as well there is still piece pieces there then i press start again it will wash the mop before you start Okay, remember, this is why I want to deep clean. So there's some white residue over there that didn't get clean in the first pass. Little bit of uh, debris there. Not a lot, but I just want to do a deep clean. Okay, so now the robot is finished cleaning and um, the area clean is 27 meters square three times and the duration is 36 minutes so it takes uh, 36 minutes to clean the room twice and that is mopping and scrubbing with the two uh, mop head so now it's back in the station where the mop head is being air dried and let me just show you around 
look at the room. So here is where the starchy water was and there is no sign of it left anymore. And just a quick browse around the room. I don't see any trace of debris or food. And definitely under the table, it was already cleaned um, after the first pass, but now again, there is nothing there. And the tank is only with water. So it was literally just um, scrubbing with water. And one more time, let's have a look and see how, how much um, of a dirty water that it managed to collect. Yep. So there's more and more of this dirty water and eventually you just put it down the drain and uh, give the tank a wash. So you can set the time for it to start cleaning. Uh, obviously when everyone is sleeping that, that will be the best time to do so. And let's do it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Cleaning preference, auto and safe. In that sense, every day from midnight onwards, it will start to clean. So since the robot can't go up the stairs on its own, so you have to move it. This robot really comes to its own when it's a complex environment. So I moved the robots from the ground floor to my first floor here, and it's now finished cleaning. And it maps all the room on the first floor. So um, you got bedroom one, bedroom two, uh, room four is a toilet, and then you got bathroom, and then you got a kind of a small single bedroom on the other side. So basically, I didn't do anything to this. So the machine just did one round cleaning, just a big quick uh, cleaning, and it's created a map, and it kind of understands the furniture around it, so it actually named it bedroom and bathroom. Um, obviously, I did move a few things around to make sure it's nice and easy for the robot to clean, but it didn't jam even once. I mean, the other robots, sometimes they get under the bed, sometimes it's the wire that it stops it from uh, working. For example, sometimes um, other robots can get stuck with the wire, but this one doesn't, or this one didn't. Okay, so this machine has been running every day for a week, and it's time to empty out this tank. Dirty water. So here is a week worth of um, dirty water from cleaning my ground floor. So this is cleaning my kitchen as well as my um, laminated flooring in my living room. So let's not waste any water, it's precious. I mean the water is dirty but you know for my plant it's perfectly fine. To do it with one hand though. Now we give it a rinse and put it back. So thank you for watching my video. Don't forget to share, like and subscribe to my channel if you find my information useful. Now my personal favorite of this machine is the actual station. Um, not that it scrubbed the floor with the rotating uh, mop head rather than just a piece of cloth being dragged around. It also cleaned the mop head every time it docked back to the station. It sucks out all the dirty water so it's ready for you to pour it down the drain or put it in the garden. As well as, as well as using an air dry or heat elements to dry out the mop head, so to keeping up with the hygiene, so there will be no chance of building up of bacteria causing unpleasant smell. It also suck out the dust from the small tank to the big tank here, um, so it's dust free kind of removal. You can uh, take it out, chuck in the bin. Obviously, there will be additional cost of um, disposable um, dust bag. Honestly, I really like this machine and I think um, this kind of a scoring almost 10 out of 10 for all aspects, including the packaging is fantastic. The nice aesthetic look of them is fantastic. The tech itself is actually definitely 10 out of 10 um, for uh, 2022. I think the Depot takes one tick all the boxes. Thank you very much for watching. I see you next time with more interesting gadgets. Bye bye.